morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day. I hope this is a thankful Thursday for you. It is for me. What a great uh, Christmas season we've had. But I want you to remember that today is the day that God has created for you and for me to worship and to glorify and rejoice in Him because of all that He's given us. And I indeed do that today. Apologize for the video not going out yesterday, but we're going to pick up where we left off on Tuesday. Tuesday, as we look at Romans chapter 8, verse 17. Remember what I said yesterday, or Tuesday, said in verse 17, and if children, if we're children of God, then we're heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. We have inherited the kingdom. We are the sons and daughters of God. We are the joint heirs with Christ. But remember how I finished uh, on Tuesday, that last, uh, next to the last phrase, if indeed we suffer with him. Now, what is he talking about there? He's talking about that perseverance through the persecution, through the trials and tribulations uh, of life. Now, we are blessed here in the United States of America because we have have, uh, not been persecuted like Christians around the world. I mean, from the very beginning uh, of of the church until today, millions upon millions of of believers have have been martyred for their faith and are still being martyred in places around the world. But here in the United States, we have been protected uh, from that persecution. But I believe that we've been seeing and we're going to continue to see increased movements against Christianity, not not the least of which is due to our support of Israel, which we'll talk about that at a later date. But right now, I want you to understand that as we move forward in, in, in our lifetime, we're going to see more and more legislation come out against Christians. We're going to see uh, groups that, that are, are, are persecuting Christians even more in the United States than, than we do right now. But here's the key. Paul says we are joint heirs with Christ if indeed we suffer with him. Keep this in mind. Salvation is guaranteed to those who persevere to the end. And those who persevere to the end are guaranteed salvation. Those go hand in hand. Why? Because we've made a commitment to to Christ. Not just for the good times, but for the bad times. We've made that commitment. And God is holding us in his hand. He's preserving us and he's indwelling us with his Holy Spirit, giving us the ability to stand strong in the face of persecution. When you read stories of of martyred Christians and how they remain faithful to the end, we think, wow, what, what bravery, what courage. I could never do that kind of thing. But the truth is you can if you're a believer because God will enable you to do that. But look at what he says. He says, we're joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Now, when we think of that word glorify, we usually think about us glorifying God, glorifying God through our worship, glorifying God through our words, glorifying God through our actions. Those are the kinds of things we think about. But we're talking about us as believers being glorified. Now, we're not saying that we're going to be worshiped. We are going to be celebrated. What a great day that's going to be when we get to the marriage supper of the Lamb in heaven. And and we're going to be celebrated along with Christ Jesus and what he's done for us. What a great day that's going to be. But this glorification has to do with the consummation of our salvation. Think about this. Salvation is past, present, and future. I have been saved. There was a time in the past when I made that decision to trust Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of my life, and I was completely saved at that moment. I was justified. That's justification, made as if I've never sinned, made at one with God, made into that heir, that joint heir with Christ. That's justification. That's past salvation. I am being saved. That is present tense. That is sanctification. That is that process of the Holy Spirit chipping away that uh, old self and, and helping us become that new man in Christ Jesus, where we are living holy lives, becoming more and more like Jesus. And then there's the future tense of salvation. That is, I am going to be saved. That is glorification. That is that moment when we go to heaven to be with the Father and we are conformed to the very image of his own son. We receive that glorified body, whatever that's going to look like. What a powerful, amazing experience this concept of salvation is as we are going through it even now, heading for that ultimate end 
when we are spending eternity with our Heavenly Father and His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. What a powerful, powerful vision. I hope that you've got it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, come see me. Give me a call. Give me an opportunity to share with you how you can experience the joy of salvation. Be blessed. I'll see you back here tomorrow.